619. This is Singapore Today. And we can also tell you that Singapore's food technologists have been making global headlines these past few years. And that's because these homegrown companies will soon mass produce prawn meat as well as milk manufactured in bulk using cell based methods. So let's find out how innovative our plant and veg producers are, especially in light of the Asia-Pacific Agri-Food Innovation Summit that starts today. And one of the speakers at this three-day summit is Sven Yeo, uh, co-founder of Artisan, an agritech company that designs, builds and operates solutions like indoor farms. Sven, it's been quite some time since we've talked to you. Good evening. So in the year or so since our last chat, what new vegetables and greens or even technology have you added to your product line to your company? Hi, uh, Lance and Melanie. I'm so, so glad to join you again today. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID, I'm not able to join you in the studio now. Um, yeah, I mean, aside from the mixed salad range that uh, we have constantly been improving in terms of the taste, texture and colour, uh, we're just about to launch a couple of specialty herbs this month. So under our Just Produce brand, uh, we have the Just Mustard, which tastes like Japanese wasabi. Uh, just sorrel, which is a tangy with a lemon flavor, and just ice plant, which is an amazing product that we grow in Himalayan pink salt. It's uh, succulent and crunchy, which you know, many people are requesting for. Uh, we also have plans to launch uh, just kale and just chart early next year. So please support us. Yeah, and where are your products available? All these food, yummy food products, are they available at the supermarkets? Right, so uh, right now we are mostly active in the online uh, retailers mm. such as uh, Red Mart, Panda Mart. Um, we also, um, can, some of our products can also be found in um, restaurants such as uh, Vineyard and a couple of uh, restaurants uh, available um, in, all around the city. Okay, all right. So uh, we'll just Google you and then we can find out. But you know, Sven, vertical farming, if we go to your website, it's not new to Singapore and indeed the world. So could you explain to us, you know, the lay people, us listening in, what's better about your indoor farm technology when compared to the rest? Right. I, I think that's a really good question. Um, I think many of us have been hearing a lot about vertical farming these days. And uh, the Singapore Food Agency is also actively promoting local farming initiatives, such as the 30 by 30 um, goal. I, I would say that um, this technology is a multidisciplinary challenge, uh, which combines science, engineering and information technology. So to just to give you an example, your plants won't be able to grow well if you have a well-engineered system, but limited understanding in science. Or if you have a doctorate in science, but you are unable to control the growing environment to what the plants need. So this is precisely why we have a strong and well-rounded team to tackle this, this challenge. And our technology integrates all these elements into a neat little package. So tell us about your plants and how you use technology to help perhaps water them. How does Arkison's Internet of Things tech come into play? Right, so the interesting thing is that um, everything that needs to be done already happens by itself uh, and really no, no further actions are needed. Um, the greens are thriving in our grow rooms, which are fully outfitted with um, state-of-the-art technology. Water and fertilizers are automatically added into the system based on our crop recipes. So think of it like cooking, but uh, instead of you know, dishes, you know, it, it's how we use to grow plants. All the important conditions are highly regulated and minimum waste is generated as the water and fertilizers are recycled in our closed loop systems. Okay, so, you know, the Asia Pacific Agri-Food Innovation Summit just started. What climate change or COVID-19 concerns would you like to see addressed or you've heard so far? Right, I think um, in, in the recent years, um, climate change has had a major impact on our food supply and our, um, our food supply chain. And uh, COVID-19 has certainly exposed how fragile and vulnerable we are to um, supply disruption. So I think many of us remember earlier this year, you know, there was this um, you know, mad rush um, to the grocers and the supermarkets and you, know, you see all the pictures of the empty shelves. So Singapore is known to have a high food security with our strong trade relationships with our neighbours, but we are not there yet in terms of food resilience. I think that um, strong actions need to be taken to push for um, sustainability agenda as a policy and how we can relook into our current supply chain to produce and source locally so that we can support our local players and build our resilience as a nation. 
One of the topics that will be brought up during the summit is affordable nutrition. If more of your indoor farms pop up in Singapore, how much cheaper can a bag of greens be in the years to come? I think this is another great point. Uh, and I also want to bring up that it's not a question of if more of our farms pop up, but when. And I think that the, the technology right now is fairly new and not mainstream, but um, similar to the solar and photovoltaic sector a decade ago, we are seeing a tremendous interest in both the public and private sectors to invest into the agri-tech industry and to drive skill. I envision that with each passing year, the cost of production can be lowered by 20% or more with the momentum that it currently has. Do you also think that sooner or later we'll be growing our own vegetables in our own homes because of really good technology? Um, I, that, that is certainly in the books. Um, I think um, COVID-19 has, you know, in a way, um, had a major impact in our lifestyles. And um, many um, people are working from homes in a hybrid kind of um, arrangement. And I think people are starting to you know, pick up um, hobbies such as growing their own food at home. And with the rapid advancement of technology, um, that's, that's certainly something that I think will happen in the next couple of years. And Sven, at this summit, right, the Asia-Pacific Agri-Food Innovation Summit, is there anyone you'd always wanted to meet or e-meet? And why were you a fanboy in any sense? <laughs> I um, no, prefer not to pick any favourites. Um, there's quite a lot of familiar faces that I'm happy to reconnect with over the summit. And um, I'm always keen to work with uh, interested investors to join us in our journey, as well as you know, F&B partners or other technology collaborators that we can work together on to see how we can improve um, our resilience and you know, leapfrog the production of our local food supply. Okay, Sven, thanks for coming on Singapore Today. Today, that was Sven Yeo, co-founder of Arkazen, a Singapore-based agri-tech company.